how did boat setter get founded? Initially, I knew I wanted to create something, but the truth is I didn't quite know what I wanted to create. I just knew I wanted to build. So I did something that was extremely terrifying to me and totally out of character. I quit and I gave myself the greatest gift and what I call the gift of time to really think through what I wanted to build. And so during that process, I thought if I'm gonna build something, I want it to be something I'm truly passionate about. And so I started to think about what my happiest memories were growing up. And when I think about joyous occasions and memories, what do I think about? And you, know, you mentioned that you grew up around Lake Lanier and I think, and I hope you can relate to this, but for me, my happiest memories through childhood was being out on the water with my dad and my three brothers. You know, we'd go out every summer. My dad was originally, um, my, both of my parents were from Chicago. And so every summer they would go back and we would go out on the lakes and I learned to water ski, we'd watch the fireworks. And I thought, how amazing would it be to be able to make this experience accessible to anybody? And prior to creating this company, getting access to boats and owning boats um, was quite restrictive. You know, I was a woman, number one, meaning I was an outsider from the boating industry, if you look at the stats, and I couldn't afford my own boat. And I thought if I could create a marketplace, making this experience accessible to anyone and really breaking down the barriers that would stop people from getting access, number one, the price, the cost, Number two, being able to keep, afford, and maintain a boat. Number three, not knowing how to get behind a, you know, I didn't feel comfortable commanding a vessel. I couldn't get behind the wheel and, and take a boat out. And so I went out to break down those barriers one by one. And I knew that boat owners, private boat owners in the U.S., I, my brothers are two of them, um, have a real challenge of an underutilized vessel costing a lot of money. So in the United States, there are about 12 million registered recreational boats. And it floored me when I discovered this, but they get used an average of 12 to 14 days a year. That's it. So I thought if I could find a way to help owners offset the cost of ownership and make getting access to a boat easy and seamless and add in captains so that you don't have to have any prior boating experience, the magic could happen. And um, before I knew a marketplace like ours could exist, there was one fundamental problem that had to be solved. So owning a recreational boat, you know this having owned one, your recreational insurance policy on that vessel excludes coverage the minute you collect a dollar in exchange for that vessel. So it truly was impossible prior to us for a private boat owner to rent out their boat. And a commercial insurance policy wouldn't make any economic sense for somebody who wanted to do this occasionally because those are underwritten for companies that do a minimum of 63 rentals per boat. So I went out and set out to solve that fundamental problem. And that was creating the very first peer-to-peer -peer marine insurance policy. So I learned everything I could about the top claims reasons for boats. And I went out and I pitched to underwriters as though they were going to be investors in the company. I talked about how I would set up the operations of the business to mitigate the risks of those top claims reasons. Things like doing the handoff of the vessel at the fuel dock instead of from your slit, because that's where most damage happens to the boat. Um, adding the captain element to really restrict damage. And after about a year, eight months actually, I finally convinced a maritime underwriter out of the UK to build the first peer-to-peer -peer insurance policy with us. And um, we did. We developed the very first marine peer-to-peer -peer policy, which means that when you list your boat on Boat Setter, we don't touch your recreational policy. It stays in effect. But when it rents out, our primary policy now, which is with Geico and Boat US exclusively, becomes primary and exclusive during the rental to protect the boat, the boat owner, a captain if there's a captain aboard, and the renter. And then the minute you stop renting, it's back on their primary policy. So that's how Boat Setter began, and we founded the company, and I founded the company. 